Everyone wants to fight racism and sexism and hateful speech, but doing it with speech codes is an attack on freedom. He made it at home, a realistic atomic bomb. The instructions are there at your fingertips. Found 563 web pages simply for atomic bomb. Freedom can be a real threat. When you can't say that, what's happening to free speech with John Stossel continues. My new garden furniture is not only beautifully designed, it's designed to hold up to the elements. Victoria is powder-coated to resist rust. The Lazy Susan is made from tempered glass. Block Island is woven from durable rattan. Sonoma, made from hardwood, even weathers the snow. And no matter how hard it rains, Montecito's aluminum frames will never rust. See the new Everyday Garden Furniture Collection, now exclusively at Kmart. I choose transitions lenses. L is for the way you look at me. O is for the only one I see. B is very, very extraordinary. E is even more of what you adore. Transitions lenses, the choice for comfort, UV protection, and the versatility of a variable tint that changes as the light changes. The choice you'll love. Call one 877 transitions here comes that heartburn again. It happens time after time. You've changed your diet. You've tried to treat it, but the pain keeps coming back two or more days a week. That frequent, persistent heartburn may be due to acid reflux disease, potentially serious. It's Prilosec time. Time to see your doctor about America's most prescribed acid control medicine. Your results may vary, but for many people, one daily dose of Prilosec provides 24 hours of complete heartburn relief. Ask your doctor for more information about Prilosec and if it's right for you. The most common side effects are headache, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. 24 hours of complete heartburn relief is possible with a purple pill they call Prilosec. Magnetic Springs, the perfect place to test our new magnetic insoles. My feet ache like the devil. Our Dr. Scholl's Magna Energy insoles can help. Each insole has a powerful magnet system inside. Really cool. We believe in magnets around here. Are you one with the magnet? Feels good. Treat yourself right at drscholl's.com. Are you ready for the fat curl? Get one coat color and curl mascara from Elme. It doubles the size of lashes in one curling coat. No clumps. For fat, curlaceous lashes. No clumps in sight. Elme One Coat Color and Curl Mascara. Tonight, true or false? Women never discuss size. That's a lie! Huge lie. A lie. A lie. Politically incorrect with Bill Maher. You know why you're here? Yeah, I shot that cop over there. And this woman over here, I shot her too. Oh. oh. Does that hurt? No, it feels nice. Like Being admitted to the Riverview Hospital Comprehensive Psychiatric Emergency Program. My job is to catch what I can't see. I catch ghosts. This is the new drama everyone will be talking about. I'll be okay, don't you think? I do. Wonderland premieres next Thursday at 10, 9 central on ABC. It's not just about saving money. It's about spending time. Just dropping by and creating bonds rather than simply buying them. At Edward Jones, it's never just about investing. It's about knowing you and your dreams. My every home, my life, my world, it all begins with a dream. Investing in you and your dreams. You can't say that. What's happening to free speech continues. Once again, John Stossel. Free speech doesn't mean we can say anything. You can't scream fire in a crowded theater. People could be trampled and you'd be liable. And what they call fighting words are illegal. If you tell rioters, beat that guy up, and they do, you're in trouble. Clear and present danger used to be the Supreme Court standard. Now it's inciting imminent lawless action. That sounds clear, but law seldom is. For example, can a book incite? A homemade bomb is a terrible threat. 
One small device can kill so many people. Maybe we could stop bombings if we could block the know-how, keep people from finding out how to do this. How did Tim McVeigh learn to make a bomb out of fertilizer? He could have got the stuff from my books. Ragnar Benson lives in the hills of western Idaho. He asked us not to say exactly where. Benson's an acknowledged expert in all kinds of weapons and explosives. Breathe that smoke and you'll notice your heart starts racing. He writes books about them. Books like Homemade Grenade Launchers, Homemade C4. This is a book that tells how to make a, a military-grade explosive uh, at home. Tim McVeigh bought it. He also bought Ragnar's Guide to High Explosives. That's a fun book. And uh, uh, setting off uh, uh, explosives can be very recreational, can be addictive, just like a kid with firecrackers. And useful to someone who, say, needs to blow up tree stumps to clear land. But Ragnar's books go well beyond tree stumps. Serious survivors know that there may come a day when they need to demolish bridges, shatter steel, or derail tanks. It's important for people to be able to defend themselves, he says, in case tyrants in government come after you in a tank. Your rifle won't stop a tank. What you need is a flamethrower. One whiff of the dragon's napalm scented breath will put attackers at your mercy. That's pretty good copy, isn't it, to sell books? But what if people use his book to commit crimes? I don't worry about it. I do worry about the personal lack of uh, responsibility within our society. The criminal is responsible, he says. It's time to stop blaming others, like authors of books. I'm sitting here with a handful of books on homemade grenade launchers, guerrilla arsenal. I am presenting no harm to the world at all by possessing these books or by reading these books. Claire Wolf, who asked us not to show her face, writes books about defying the government. And that, she says, shouldn't be anyone's business but hers and her readers. It is solely magical thinking to imagine that books or movies, quote, make people do things. People wish that if the books and the movies would go away or would be different, people wouldn't do terrible things. For instance, the Manson gang very famously blamed the Beatles for Helter Skelter. People who are looking for an excuse to do evil will do evil. Yet this year, Benson's publisher told Benson his books on explosives are now illegal. No dilly-dallying. Because last year, Congress passed a law saying it's a crime to distribute information about making a destructive device. We can't sell these books anymore because if there's intent to violate federal law, we could be facing a $100,000 fine and 20 years in jail. Even before the government banned books, private lawyers got some banned by suing the publishers. Paladin Press recalled all copies of Hitman after someone allegedly followed its instructions and murdered three people. The victim's relatives sued Paladin. Several major news organizations, including ABC, NBC, and the New York Times, all filed briefs on behalf of the publisher, defending its right to sell the book. The victim's lawyer says that's disgusting. The media should have had the intelligence to be able to draw the line, but they haven't. Uh, Walt Disney, for God's sake, has, has come to the aid of Paladin Press. 